Hey guys, it's Absola Curry 2213 here again, and today I have for you a Sword and Shield Vivid Voltage Elite Trainer Box. So um, these have basically sold out now um, out of all stores, and I uh, was at work, and just before work I went into Kmart, and lo and behold they had four of these in stock for $70, and I was like, oh my god, I'm going to get one, and I'm going to be so happy, and... Um, then that same day I got a call from my local EB Games to say that they had one for me as well that I had originally tried to um, order. So I actually ended up getting two um, of these Vivid Voltage boxes. This is the one's from Kmart. It's got the um, annoying... Oh wait, hang on. Which one's from Kmart? Sorry, this one's from Kmart. This one's from Kmart because they had the security like wires wrapped around it. So it's not in the best condition with this this thing but this one's from the, on the right hand side is from EB Games um, this one was $80 and they were very nice they held it for me um, and it was actually the last one that they were going to get in stock and I'm very grateful that they um, did that for me they're a really good bunch over there they they treat me so well they um, give me all the Pokemon I could ever want <laughs> I love them over there so thank you so much um, but I'm, I, I'm, I'm, to I'm torn between if I should open both of them or not. I'm going to definitely open, of course, one in the video or I wouldn't be making this. Um, I'll open the Kmart one because it's, it's just got that tiny little annoying uh, crease from the security wires that I'll open. But if you guys want me to open the second box in another video, please let me know. Um, I was thinking of, I really were, was after the um, Hidden Fates um, elite trainer box as well with the, the three legendary birds because I missed out on the entire set I don't, I don't know where I was I must have been totally out of it but I completely missed that entire set and I regret it <laughs> because it looks super cool it's got like such good cards in there and uh, um, really nice artwork and everything and um, I want to see if I can maybe trade this box for one but I know that it's probably not like a good deal for the person with the Hidden Fates box because they're worth like $300 or something crazy now but I'll find one eventually I'm sure at a reasonable price that isn't you know just out of this world for uh, for Pokemon cards so anyway I'll keep that one aside I'll either open it in the future or I'll try and trade it for a Hidden Fates box or something like that and um with obviously I'll probably give him some money as well as in addition to the box for the other box but anyway that's totally a different story so let's let's just uh let's open this right now sorry for the whole backstory please skip if you if you would like to okay so I've just taken the plastic out and let's slide it on out oh it's a bit tricky there we go Oh, it's so cool. I was I was literally looking everywhere for one of these, like high and low, and then yeah, all of a sudden when I did end up finding it, man, it was it was a really good day. Um, so this is the player's guide. Oh my gosh, I love the artwork to this. This is great. Look at the uh, the tail. That's oh, I love that. So here is the player's guide. Um, very red, very bold. So it's got all the different cards that you can look out for, all descriptions, all that kind of good stuff in this player's guide. So I'll put that to the side for later. And I believe I heard that if you like take this apart, it's got like artwork, like a poster inside, if you can see, which is pretty cool. I went, oh, it's got Celebi there. Can you see? Man, I won't be doing that, but that's awesome. It's good to know. Um, and then of course, Inside this, I love this kind of Pikachu design. That's great. And it's got the Vivid Voltage on the top and the back all around. Okay, so let's open the contents. So here we have, let me just get my camera in focus. Okay, so we have the Pokemon trading card game rules. Just like in any uh, Elite Trainer box, they have all the different rules in there. Then we have the uh, the tokens and everything, and the um, the dice, which is really nice in red and yellow. Very, it's very like you know vivid colors. If you, <laughs> if I do say so myself. Um, so what else do we have? So we have the 
the, what do you call them, the sleeves, <laughs> trading card sleeves, of course, with the same design. We have the, um, the dividers as well, which is cool, so I think we have four of those, very nice. For those who would like the code card, there it is. And, of course, we have a whole pack of just energies in here. Very good. And, of course, what everybody wants these for is the booster pack. So, it comes with eight, I think. So, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes. So, we'll go ahead. I'll put the box back together and we'll, um, we'll open these packs. Alrighty, I'm back and the box is all back together and let's go ahead and open these beautiful booster packs. So we'll just open it in the order that they gave us them in. So let's get started. So we have this one, number one. Alright, I really do like these Elite Trainer boxes because um, yeah, they just come with so many cool things and they're really great to store your cards in. They have a good amount of booster packs. They have, um, yeah, they have a lot of cool stuff. And they're not, they're not usually bad price as well. So we have Electric Energy, Memory Capsule, Giraffe Rig, uh, Electric, Weedle, Drillba, Clefairy, Welma, Tynamo, um, a Cremorant and a, oh, Jolteon! Very cool, awesome! Love Jolteon. Alright. Let's put those there. Okay, next pack. An Ore Beetle. Okay. This one's tricky. Tricky to open. Alright, so here we go. We have the code card. One, two, three, four. All right, so we have Psychic Energy, Wash Energy, Charmeleon, Pincurchin, Shuffet, Poochiena, Voltorb, Rockruff, Talo, Slugma. Oh, nice, and a Reggie Rock. That's awesome. Super cool. It's a hollow as well. That's great. All right, I'm terrible at getting these cards back off the table. There we go. All righty. Next pack is a Pikachu. Yeah. All right. Man, these packs are hard to open today. All right. So here we have the code card. There you go. One, two, three, four. Okay. So, we have a Metal Energy, Nuzleaf, Opal, B, Taylor, Sandile, Oshawott, Pineco, Clefairy, Reverse Hollow, Trumbeak, and, oh, nice, a beauty. That's awesome. Full art beauty. Look at that. The, um, so shiny and the texture is pretty cool. So, that's 181 out of 185. Awesome. Although, to be quite honest, it's um, a bit annoying to get like a really cool rare card as a trainer. I don't know why they did that. Um, I'd much rather like, you know, even if it was something like a starter Pokemon or something. Just any, any Pokemon would be better, in, in my opinion anyway, than a trainer. <laughs> Just the artwork would be much cooler. Anyway. I'm very happy to get a full art though anyway in general, but um, that's a water energy, Rocky Helmet, Galvantula, Swellow, Eevee, Woobat, Arocuta, C Dot, Fanfi, Pincachin, and another Jolteon Dam. Man, what's the out of 185 cards, what are the chances of getting a uh, another Jolteon as the rare? <laughs> All right, here we go, a Celebi pack. All righty. Code card. One, two, three, four. All right, so here we go, a Dark Energy, Wind on Stadium, Zeb Striker, Excadrill, C Dot, Picky Peck, Mudbray, Joltik, Weedle, Ooh, 
um, a Delmice and a, oh, a Hollow Electrode. Very cool. Lots of electric Pokemon in this particular uh, series and set, which is pretty cool. I do love a good electric Pokemon. All right, we've got three more packs to go. So let's hope for something super cool. So there's a code card. One, two, three, four. Okay, so we're starting off with a Leaf Energy, Go Goat, Ferrothorn, Dusclops, Whalma, Cottony, Clobopus, Electrike, um, ex Execute, <laughs> Meetang, and a Ooh, Shed Ninja. That's cool. I like the artwork for this. I really do. Um, I basically just collect the Pokemon cards for the artwork, <laughs> just because it's um they made they do it so well and. Like all the art is just so original as well, it's amazing what they can do with it. Okay, second last pack. Let's hope for something good. Code card. Okay, one, two, three, four. Okay, so we have a Dark Energy, Rocky Helmet, Alistair, Mutang, Wisma, Drilva. Whalma, Cottony, Clobopus, Dreadnought, and a Electros. All right, nothing too crazy in that pack. Okay, so here's the lucky last one. Will we get a Pikachu <laughs> or something else really cool? I don't know, let's, let's soon see. Let's. Get the code card out the way and open the pack up. So one, two, three, four. All right. Let's see. So we have an ele um, sorry, we have a leaf energy, Excadrill, a bee, giraffe rig, Ryolu, Chin uh, Chimico. I love the um, the crochet artwork there too. Ninkata, Voltorb, Rockruff. A reverse hollow loudred, and what will our, the last card be for this? A hollow shaman. That's pretty cool. Not bad. Not bad at all. I love, um, I do like shaman and I like the hollow cards too. Very cool and shiny. Oh, that wasn't bad. Not a bad box. Um, I'm still contemplating opening the second uh, Elite Trainer box though. Let me know in the comments below if you would like to see me opening it. Or if someone out there happens to have a Hidden Fates, I think it's Hidden Fates, right? The one with the, the three legendary birds that came out a few years ago. Someone has a Hidden Fates uh, Elite Trainer box that they're willing to trade for this nicely sealed pack. Um, please let me know. <laughs> um, but anyway, in the comments, let me know either or if you want me to open it or keep it sealed for future. And uh, yeah, well, anyway, thank you so much for watching and um, I really appreciate it and I hope you all have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.